In this video, I'm gonna show you how to add text in Premiere Pro. Hi everyone, I'm the Web Guru, and I make tutorials on video, audio, photography to help make you a better editor. So please leave a comment and be sure to subscribe and sign up for notification. So here inside of Premiere Pro, I've already created a simple video. It's actually a trip that I did to Glacier National Park. And I'd like to add some text to the video to make it more interesting. I wanna have like an opening title. I wanna add my website at the end of it. And so it's actually pretty easy to add text in Premiere because there is a tool called the Type Tool. It's at the very bottom of the Tools panel and it looks like a T. So I'm going to click on it and then to add text, I just have to single click anywhere inside of the program monitor and then start typing. So I'm gonna type in Glacier National Park. Now, you're gonna want to probably move it and change the property, so let me show you how to do that. Moving is pretty easy. You do have to go back to the selection tool and then you can simply click and drag the text to another part of the screen. And I actually wanna change the font and the size and other properties. And the best panel for that is called the Essential Graphics Panel. It's relatively new inside of Premiere Pro and it's gonna help with the text and the graphic workflow. So to show the Essential Graphics Panel, you'll wanna go up to the Window menu and then choose Essential Graphics. Now it opened up over here on the right hand side of the screen. Now one thing to be aware of is when you create text inside of Premiere Pro, it will automatically create a clip. This is called a graphic clip that contains the text in your timeline. That all happened automatically. When you go to the Essential Graphics panel, you'll wanna make sure that you have that clip selected. And the Essential Graphics panel is separated into two tabs. You have Browse and then you have Edit. So we wanna go over to Edit. This will allow us to edit the text. And there are a lot of properties in here, but let me show you some of the most important ones. So going down a little bit underneath text, we have the font. So every single font that you have installed on your system will be in this drop down menu. If you know which font you're looking for, a little shortcut is to start typing it in and then it will filter for you. I'm gonna choose Open Sans, but of course you might be choosing completely different fonts in your project. I'm going to actually center align the text and when I click on the center button, you'll notice that it kind of goes off the screen, but it's easy to drag and move it back onto the screen. I also want to increase the size of the text and that's going to be this box right here. So there's a slider here. The number usually starts off at 100 and you can slide the slider here or you can also type in a value. I'm gonna type in 125 to increase the size of the text. And I would also like this to be completely centered on the screen. And one thing I really do like about the Essential Graphics panel is right underneath Align and Transform, there are two buttons, one to vertically center, the other one to horizontally center the text, and now it's perfectly centered on the screen. So I like that. Now going down a little bit further, I'm gonna scroll down here in the Essential Graphics panel, there's a section called Appearance, and this is the fill color. So if you wanna change the color of the text, you can click on this little color box here and then choose another color, like this red color or whatever color you want. Now I actually like it to be white, so I'm gonna undo that with a Command Z or Control Z on Windows. Another thing I like to do is to add a drop shadow. So that's right here, there's a checkbox right next to shadow, and sometimes it makes the text a little bit more readable, especially if it's on a lighter background. And then optionally, you can also add a stroke 
or you can also add a background color to the text, which can sometimes also make it more readable, but I'm actually pretty happy with this text. One thing to be aware of is that when you create text, it will automatically default to five seconds, but you can make it longer or shorter if you want, simply by dragging the edges of the graphic clip. So there I made it longer, and then I can drag it to make it shorter. Now let's go on to another clip and we're gonna create what's called a lower third. And the reason it's called a lower third is because it's text that shows up in the bottom third of the screen. It often has a person's name or some additional information that is useful. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to select the type tool at the bottom of the tools panel. I'm going to single click in the program monitor and I'm going to type in day one. Now, one thing you might notice is that the text is becoming red and I actually want it to be white. So I'm going to select all of this text. You can drag with the mouse, but it's a little bit easier to use Command A on Mac, Control A on Windows to select the text, then going back into the Essential Graphics panel all the way down, there's something called the Fill Color, and I'm going to make it white again, because that's what I want it to be. Um, it's also a little bit too big, so I'm going to reduce its size. I'm going to bring this one back to around 100, and I want to move it around a little bit, so I'm going to go back to the Selection tool, then I'm going to click and move the text down toward the bottom of the screen here. And I'm also going to add another line of text. So I'm going to go back to the type tool. Then I'm going to click underneath day one. And this is going to be the high line trail. Now, of course, I don't like the position of it. So I'm going to go back to the selection tool and I'm going to adjust it a little bit so that it doesn't overlap with the text above it. And then I'm also going to reduce the size of this text a little bit. Now here's where things get a little bit interesting. There's one graphic clip in the timeline. This was created automatically, five seconds long. But in the Essential Graphics panel, you'll actually see two layers. So each piece of text comes on its own layer. And if you click on the little eyeball icons, you can toggle the visibility on and off, very similar to Photoshop. So that can be very useful and it gives us more control. Another thing that can be useful is I am going to right click in the program monitor and I'm going to choose an option called safe margins. Now the safe margins will give me some boxes on the screen and it's a good idea to keep your text inside of those boxes. You don't want your text coming too close to the edge of the screen because then it might get cut off. And so now that I've verified it, I'm going to right click and I'm going to turn the safe margins off. So this is good, and now I'm gonna go a little bit later, and I'm going to add another title, and I actually want this title to look exactly the same as the first title that I created, so I'm simply gonna duplicate the initial one that I created. And a very quick and easy way to duplicate a clip inside of Premiere is to option drag it on Mac, alt drag it on Windows, so I'm going to hold down the Option key, and then I'm going to drag, which will duplicate the title into another location. And now what I can do is I need to change day one to day two. So I'm going to select the Type tool. And then you have to be careful here. You need to make sure that you click inside of the text box. If you accidentally click away from the text box, then what happens is that you create a new text layer. That's not what I want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete in the uh, Essential Graphics panel. I can even see the empty text layer. I'm going to delete that by hitting delete on the keyboard. And then I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I'm going to click inside of the existing text box. Then I can modify it to 
day two. And then I'm gonna also change the location to Elizabeth Lake. Like that. Great, so now I have two titles. I'm gonna go to the very end of the video. And this is my closing image. So I am just gonna put my website address. I'm gonna go back to the type tool and I'm going to click down toward the bottom of the screen and I'm gonna go with my website and then I'm gonna click over here and then I'm gonna put in my social media handle like that. And of course I need to move them around. So I need to go back to the selection tool and then simply move the text by dragging from the center like that and then you'll notice another clip has been created over here now one thing I also recommend to make this text a little bit more interesting is to add transitions maybe some simple animation and I'm actually going to be doing another video on how to animate text so be sure to look out for that one and it'll make your video more interesting. So I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and I will do my best to answer all of them and I will see you in the next video.